Hello, this is the Media Box and we're at the Congress of Local and Regional Authorities, the 26th session here at the Council of Europe. Joining me again is Lars Omela, Chair of the Congress's uh, Monitoring Committee. Welcome back to the Thank Media you. Box. First off then, um, you were rapporteur on the, the role uh, of local and regional authorities in the implementation of human rights. Yes. Can you tell me more about that report? What were the findings? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Let me first say that's, that's the third report I'm presenting for the, for the Congress. And uh, this uh, report is about best practices. And, uh, you know, the work of local and regional authorities is not always uh, described in human rights terms. But so much what we are doing, doing in local level or regional level is about human rights. It's about uh, respecting, protecting, fulfilling and promoting human rights. Uh, in this support, I give, I would like to say, good examples. Best example is a little bit difficult word, but good, good examples. Practice, yes how human rights can be respected, protected, fulfilled, and promoted. And uh, most of the examples are taken from the member states of the Council of Europe, but there are also examples from outside of, of Europe. And let me say that, in, in summary, the, the, the report shows how important it is that the local and regional authorities are proactive, that they are taking initiative, and also that we are training elected people and their staff. And I have to underline that uh, uh, it's important that uh, we cooperate cooperate in the local authorities and regional authorities with one another and sharing good examples. You talk about good examples, you talk about good practice. What has struck you as being a particular form of good practice that, uh, that most impressed you? Uh, well, you know, we, we, we have so many good examples showing in, in this uh, uh, report, but often they very the good example and that has struck me when you work together when you cooperate for instance together local regional authorities and sometimes the national authorities and i think that's important you can see the chain from national level region level and local level what would you say are the main challenges that local authorities face at the moment uh, at the moment it depends on which country. Of course, yes. In some countries, they are facing the economical crisis, of course. In other countries, they are not. Uh, but still, I think, still, if we have uh, economical problems, it's important that we are aware of. Uh, I bet we are aware of human rights and the human rights issues. So, are we talking when we talk about human rights in particular? We have uh, obviously a situation in Ukraine uh, with yes. Russia and the annexation of yes. Crimea. Yes. Would you be referring to those when you talk about human rights? Well, of course, well, that's a very important uh, subject now that we are discussing here in the Congress. And uh, here it's a question of minorities and the, minor the rights of minorities. So, from what the Congress knows and its monitoring capacity, how have the uh, the rights of uh, minorities been uh, severely affected in that region at the moment? Well, you know, the situation is very complex, and uh, we are going to discuss that in depth. But you can see, for instance, in Crimea, you have many minorities. There is a Russian majority, but there have also the, you have the Tatars, for example, which is a big group. Okay, that's great. Now, um, 
Is there any interest, would you say, in terms of uh, exchanging these good mm. practices that we've been mm. talking about? Because it's all well and good to talk about them, but are people actually exchanging those good practices and, and saying to other uh, authorities and other parts of the, uh, the little family, mm. as it were, mm. are they saying, well, this is what we're doing, mm. it might work for you as well? Well, I think so, or I hope so. But I, I think there is an increasing interest to change good examples. Uh, and here I think the Congress has, it's important for the Congress to be active and to stimulate such an exchange of good examples. And that's why I, I propose in my report a forum for human rights on local and regional level. And uh, I think that can stimulate the exchange uh, of uh, good examples. When you say a forum, what, what, what uh, shape would it take? Now, I, I think we should, uh, we have to work that out. But uh, in my mind, it is a, a forum where we invite elected people, we, we invite the local and regional authorities, and other stakeholders to come together and, uh, and discuss these questions, show the good examples. Let's hope that that works out then. Thank you very much Thank indeed you. for joining Thank us. You. Thank you. That's Lars Omerlin, Chair of the Congress Monitoring Committee. That's it from us for the moment. Join us again soon. Goodbye.